Welcome to ICT7. Today, for week 3, we will tackle the computer number system, decimal, binary, octal, and hexadecimal. First, let us define what is number system. A method of representing numbers using specific rules, it provides a consistent way to express numerical values. We have four most common types. First, the decimal number system. The decimal system uses 10 digits, 0 to 9. Each position to the left of the decimal point represents powers of 10. Second, the binary number system. The binary system uses only two digits, the 0 and 1. It is widely used in computer science and digital electronics. Third, the octal number system. The octal system uses eight digits from zero to seven. It is less common but still used in some contexts. Fourth, the hexadecimal number system. The hexadecimal system uses 16 digits from 0 to 9 and A to F, it is commonly used in computer programming and memory addressing. The number system plays a crucial role in mathematics in our daily lives. For representation of quantities, a number system provides a way to represent quantities, whether it's counting objects, measuring distances, or calculating time, Number allow us to express this concept precisely. Example, when you count the number of apples in a basket or measure the length of a room, you're using the number system. All mathematical concepts and formulas are based on the number system. Whether you're solving equations, working with geometry, or analyzing data, Numbers are fundamental. From basic arithmetic operations from addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, to advanced calculus and algebra, numbers underpin mathematical reasoning. For types of number, first, the number system encompasses various types of number. The counting numbers. This start with one, and continue indefinitely like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Second, whole numbers. Include all counting numbers along with 0. Integers. Positive and negative whole numbers including 0. Rational numbers. Expressive whole as fractions. And irrational numbers cannot be expressed as fractions. Real numbers encompasses both rational and irrational numbers. Even numbers divisible by 2 like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have also the odd numbers, not divisible by 2, like 3, 5, and 7. Prime numbers, divisible only by 1 and themselves, like 5, 7, and 13. And composite numbers have multiple factors like 10, 15, 28, etc. For digital system and data representation, Understanding number system is essential for digital system because they process data using binary representation. Computer use bits to represent information and this binary system relies on the principles of the number system. For digital system and data representation also, the number system is not only a mathematical tool but also a fundamental aspect of our everyday interactions with the world. 
It allows us to quantify, calculate, and communicate effectively. For our first subtopic, the binary numbers. The binary number system is a fundamental concept in computer science and digital electronics. It uses a base 2 numeral system, which means it only employs two distinct symbols, the 0 and 1. For binary facts, binary code is the basis for all computer languages. A byte is a collection of 8 binary digits. An Asian Egyptians discovered binary code. And if the last digit of a binary number is 1, it will be odd. If it's 0, it will be even. In binary, each digit is called a bit. The binary system is used internally by almost all modern computers and electronic devices because it's directly maxed to electronic circuit using a logic gates. Unlike our everyday decimal system, which uses 10 symbols. Binary uses only 2 symbols, the 0 and 1. To convert a decimal number to binary, follow these steps. Divide the decimal number by 2. Use the integer quotient obtained as a dividend for the next step. Continue dividing until the quotient becomes 0. Write down the remainders in reverse order to get the binary representation. Think of the numbers like a light switch. 1 is on, 0 is off. Example, convert 4 to binary. Step 1, divide 4 by 2, the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 0. Step 2, Divide 2 by 2, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 0. Step 3, divide 1 by 2 and the quotient is 0 and the remainder is 1. Reverse the remainders, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, 4 is a binary is 1, 0, 0. A single binary digit is called a bit. Example, 1010 is a 5-bit binary number. And 101 is a 3 bit binary number, and the 10001 is a 6 bit binary number. This is the conversion chart for decimal to binary. Next, the octal numbers. The octal number system is a base 8 system that uses digits from 0 to 7 to represent any numbers. For base and digits, the base of the octal system is 8, and it uses the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. For representation, octal numbers are usually represented by binary numbers when grouped in pairs of 3. For example, the octal number 1, 2, 8, is expressed as 0010102 in binary, where 1 is equivalent to 001 and 2 is equivalent to 010. For example, to convert the 560110 to octal, 560 divided 8 is 70, the remainder is 0, and 70 divided 8 is 8 with the remainder of 6, and 8 divided 8 is 1 with the remainder of 0, and 1 divided 8 is equals to 0 with a remainder of 1. So the octal representation is 10608. For the table of octal digits, we use only 3 bits to represent octal numbers. Each group has a distinct value between 000 and 111. And octal digits range from 0 to 7. This is the table of octal digits from 0 to 7. Next, the decimal numbers. A decimal number consists of a whole number and a fractional part separated by a point, often called the decimal point. 
whole number part represent the integral value of a quantity. It can be any positive or a negative integer. For example, in the decimal number is 42.85, the whole number part is 42. In the decimal number in negative 123.456, the whole number part is negative 123. The fractional part represents a value smaller than 1. It appears after the decimal point. For example, in the decimal number 42.85, the fractional part is 0 0.85. In the decimal number in negative 123, and the decimal point separates the whole number part from the fractional part. It serves as visual indicator that we are dealing with a decimal. For example, the decimal point in 42.85 separates 42, which is the whole, from 85, the fractional. Decimal numbers allows us to express quantities that are whole plus some part of a whole. They are commonly encountered in everyday situations such as grocery, shopping, measurements, and financial calculations. Lastly, the hexadecimal number. Often simply called hex is a base 16 numeral system. Unlike our familiar base 10, System which uses 10 symbols, which is the 0 to 9, to represent numbers. Hexadecimal employs 16 symbols. These symbols include the numerals 0 to 9 and the letters A to F. Each digit in a hexadecimal number corresponds to a specific value, allowing us to express quantities in a compact and efficient manner. Hexadecimal uses a base value of 16. This means that each column in a hexadecimal number represents a power of 16. The 16 symbols used in hexadecimal are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and A, B, C, D, E, and F. For example, the hexadecimal number is 1a represent 1 times 16 plus 10 is equals to 26 in decimal. Conversion to other systems. Hexadecimal numbers can be converted to other number systems. The decimal base 10 each digit is multiplied by the corresponding power of 16 and sum. To binary, each hexadecimal digit corresponds to a 4-bit binary representation. To octal, first convert to decimal, then to octal. This conversion are essential. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.